Hi guys! Are you tired of complicated surveillance setup and messy cables? Well, we have a solution to make you get the job done easily. We'll show you how to set up an IP camera system using a WebSmart Managed PoE switch, unlocking a new level of convenience and efficiency in your surveillance setup. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to answer your questions for you. PoE switch is a device combines the functions of a network switch with capability to provide both power and data to connected devices over a single Ethernet cable. This eliminates the need for separate power cables and simplifies the installation process. By using PoE switch for system installation, you can enjoy several benefits. Firstly, it reduces the overall cost and complexity of the setup. Secondly, it provides flexibility as you install devices at locations without easy access to power outlet. Additionally, it offers centralized power management and control and simplified maintenance and troubleshooting. Now we are in front of the demonstration board and I'll show you the setup for today. I'm going to use this WebSmart PoE switch to connect with three IP cameras at the edge. The WebSmart PoE switch has the functionality between managed switch and unmanaged switch, which can provide advanced features for network management and power delivery to connected devices. It combines the convenience of WebSmart management with PoE technology, creating a powerful and versatile networking solution. This 8-port WebSmart PoE switch with 2 gigabit SFP suits enterprise network to build secure PoE system with central management on power and data to supply various IP devices. And they are ideal for small to medium-sized network that require a balance between simplicity and functionality. So this is the beginning of the whole camera system setup. We have the monitor here to display the video, the router to provide the main network data. NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It is using the recording and storage video footage from the connected cameras. And this is a 16 channels NVR. There are also 32 and 64 channels you can choose from. So let's do the connection using the short patch cord here to connect our router with the NVR first. It's already been powered up and the monitor is already connected to the NVR. Let's use another Ethernet cable here to connect our main network data with the WebSmart PoE switch. Let's plug it in here. And you can see the indicator light is on, it's already been powered up. It is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard and up to 30 watts of output power for each port. The total power budget is 120 watts. And those two are 1000 megabit per second SFP port, which can provide long distance, high bandwidth and low latency fiber optic links. And now I'm going to plug in three ethernet cable here to connect with the three IP cameras at the edge. Let's plug them in. And let's come over this side. We have three different types of IP cameras. And make sure you choose the one that is suitable for your situation. Now they are all PoE enabled. And this one has the pan, tilt, and zoom feature. And this one has 4K high definition. So now let's connect them together. This is the pen tail zoom. Let's plug it in. And we have this one. And last but not least, And you can see the indicated lights are all getting on and there's only a single ethernet cable needed. So let's look at our monitor. 
and we can see all three IP cameras are alive. Let's wave my hand to test it. One, two, three. So the whole setup is done. Here are more tips on the camera system setup using the WebSmart PoE switch. First, keep in mind of the total power budget so you have to know the power consumption of your edge devices. Second, make sure you have grounding and surge protection to ensure safety and protect electronic devices from electrical hazard or damage. Third, the WebSmart PoE switch has many advanced features like DHCP and VLAN. You can use the VLAN management capability to separate the network for easier management if needed. There is also an unexpected usage which you can install PoE camera over 100 meter with no need to add extra extension tool because we know the PoE has a distance limitation. And here's a video on how to enable longer PoE distance without using the CCTV mode or add extension tool. And stay tuned and subscribe to our channel Fast Cabling for more informative videos on networking, security system, and technology. Thank you so much for watching today.